welcome back to the soulful cook today we're going to be making vegan fudge brownies now you're probably wondering how can fudge brownies be vegan it's very simple i use all natural ingredients and all the ingredients can be easily accessible and already in your kitchen i do use agave nectar as a sugar substitute but you can easily substitute it with maple syrup if you prefer. It just depends on what kind of sweetness you're looking for. If you do want to make this recipe not only gluten-free but low-carb as well, then all you have to do is substitute the gluten-free baking flour for almond flour instead. Just make sure you're using blanched almond flour. We all know how much kids and adults love their sugary snacks and desserts. This is the perfect recipe to get that sugar kick that you're looking for without feeling guilty later. Without further ado, let's get started! Here's everything you're gonna need to get started. You're gonna need one ripe banana, one cup agave nectar, half a cup of unsweetened applesauce, one fourth cup of water, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, three-fourths cup of cocoa powder, a fourth teaspoon of baking soda, salt to taste, one cup gluten-free baking flour, and half a cup of your favorite vegan chocolate chips. We're gonna start off by adding the banana. You wanna make sure it's ripe to get the most amount of sweetness out of it. And you're going to want to put that in this mixer and mix it until it's nice and smooth and there are no chunks remaining. This will make sure everything in the mixture is smooth as well. To that, we're going to add our half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. Again, make sure you're using unsweetened. You don't want any additional flavors. And then we're going to add our one cup of agave nectar. Again, if you're going to use maple syrup instead, then it's the same amount, just one cup. And one teaspoon of good vanilla extract. And you want to mix that on medium until everything is nice and combined just for 30 seconds to about a minute. All right, so now we're gonna add in our dry ingredients. We're gonna start off with 3 fourths cup of cocoa powder. Use whichever brand you prefer. I'm using Hershey's. And then we're gonna add our cup of gluten-free baking flour. If you're gonna use almond flour, then it's also one cup for that as well. and one fourth teaspoon of baking soda. All of that goes in and you're gonna mix that on low and then gradually increase the speed. Don't worry if the mixture is a little thick, we will be adding water to it later to make it nice and smooth. All right, so once your consistency starts to look like this, you can increase the speed for about 30 seconds and then add 1 fourth cup of water. This is what's gonna make the brownies really fudgy. And then you wanna mix that on slow and then gradually increase the speed to high for about a minute to minute and a half. Alright, now our mixture is done and this step is completely optional. I like to add half a cup of vegan chocolate chips. It gives up that extra sweetness in there and it adds texture as well to the brownies. And you want to fold these in. You don't want to mix them in because you don't want the chocolate chips to break in the mixture. So just fold them in slowly. 
Now we're going to transfer the mixture to our prepared baking pan. All I've done was added some aluminum parchment paper to my square baking pan. And then I'm just gonna start transferring the brownie mixture into the pan. Now, if you want the mixture to be a little bit more smooth, then all you have to do is just keep it in the mixer for a little bit longer on a higher speed. I like mine a little bit chunky, so that's why it's a little bit tight. So now we're going to take the leftover chocolate chips and we're going to just sprinkle those on top. I love the way the brownies look with these chocolate chips on top and especially when they start to melt in the oven, it gives it that extra kick that you're looking for. Alright, these go in the oven at 325 for about 20 minutes and done. Now you want to let these cool for about 10 minutes before you start cutting them. But if you're impatient like me, then you can just cut them right away and enjoy with a nice cold glass of almond milk. for vegan fudge brownies. If you want the detailed version of this recipe, head over to the blog www.thesoulfulcook.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can receive notifications every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.